Toronto condo assignments for sale. Condo assignments for sale in Toronto, Canada. Hello, Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker, research realty. Today we're going to talk about Toronto condo assignments for sale. I'm going to show you exactly some listings of condo assignments available for sale in Toronto in the area. And we're also going to talk about anything to do with assignments. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Okay, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor, Mortgage Broker, Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, Yossi Kaplan.com. Uh, here is my Twitter. If you want the latest news, you know, I can't post everything to the website every day, but Twitter is easy just from the phone. So if I got a pre-launch, this is a nice uh, loft at 224 King. That's the launch of 507 Kingston Road. Very nice large units, uh, 785 a foot and up. Uh, some very fancy rentals, but this is what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about assignments today. Kingly Condo, Kingly Condo's assignments, one bed, one bath, balcony, great value at six ninety nine nine. This is just under 600 square feet, okay, eleven seventy a foot uh, for this unit here. Uh, Nobu Condo, I got a bunch of them, and you know, because it's an assignment, I can't tell you exactly what it is, but once you email me or call me, I will provide you information. Nobu condos, two bed plus den, two bath and balcony, 862 square feet corner unit with parking, 1399 foot, $1.2 million. Nice unit. Many more at Nobu. Uh, art shop coming to conclusion, 1.25 for the penthouse, two bed, two bath, two balconies, uh, 983 square feet, 1339 a foot. There's an assignment sale, it includes parking and locker. The assignment condo sale at Nobu Condos, 1.25 at the penthouse. Okay, what do you got? Uh, this is really good value, 330 Richmond Street West, one large one bedroom, 635 square feet, and a balcony, 84 square feet. On the 11th floor, facing north towards Queen, bicycle locker. It's got a rooftop pool, fitness center. It's a very nice building by the Green Corporation, 889 a foot, 565. That You can't get that anywhere else. That's really, really good value, my friends. This unit will rent for 22, 23, 2400 a month. Easy, okay? Uh, what do we got here? Young and Richmond, two bed and den, three baths, uh, corner unit, larger unit, 1559 square feet, and 717 uh, square feet wraparound terrace. On the 40th floor, looking southwest, uh, the building has an outdoor pool, outdoor terrace, private lounge and bar, 1.8 million for this unit, 11.54 a foot. Okay, uh, what else we got here? Some other information. Uh, there's a Nobu, 1.2 million. I think we showed this one before. This is Kingly. I think these are the same. Uh, here's another Nobu at 620, $620,000, one bed, den, and bath, one bed plus den, one bath, 520 square feet. Look at that floor plan, it's a very good floor plan. Okay. Some bought posts. Uh, 525 at the Brit Condos, that's good, that's a studio, very good value here. Okay. Um, Richmond, that's a different unit at uh, Richmond, 769. These are very good prices for downtown. Here's the thing with assignments, my friends. You can find a really good assignment, but you do need to have a bit more cash flow, okay? Because assignments take cash because somebody bought the unit. I, I assume you know what assignment is, but here's a quick review. Um, somebody bought the unit from the developer. They put the 15% and 20%. You come, you take it over before it's registered. So if they put 15%, you got to give them 15% back. Developer is holding 50%, plus the five on occupancy. Usually that's the deal. Plus the profit, the assignment cost is the, 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 the profit, the margin between what they bought it, what they pay for developer, what they're selling to you. So let's say this unit here, 330 Richmond uh, West. Uh, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but let's say they, they paid 600000 for it and they're asking 119 That's the cost of the assignment, the cost to take it over. Uh, and if they pay 600, 15% will be 90000 So say, just, just, I'm not sure this, I'm just making this up just for sake of explanation. They paid, uh, say, 600, 15% down, that's 90,000. They still owe 5%, 30, plus the difference, 119. So 119 plus 30 is the cash you, you need to uh, have ready, plus the 90. Okay, so the 90, what they paid, plus the 5, 30, so that's 120, which is 20% of 620, plus the difference, 120. Okay, so 240. 90 plus 30 plus 120, 240. That's the total. This total cash you'll need. 
take over this assignment and the rest goes on your mortgage or you can pay cash or portion of the cash, whatever. Now, it doesn't mean that all assignments go like this. Other assignments go in various ways. It really has to be decided between the person who's selling the assignment and you buying the assignment. Or if you are selling the assignment, then you have to dictate what kind of cash you want to get before and find the buyer or have me to find you the buyer that has that cash. Now, here's, here's, the, here's the trick. The trick is that a lot of assignments, people ask you for you know, $250,000 up front. A lot of people that have $250,000, they'll say, you know what, I can use that as 20% and spend 1.25. You know, 20% of 1225 is 250, $250,000. So you follow my math here? So the math is one thing, but the logic is another. So if I have $250,000 cash in my pocket, what would I do? Would I use it um, to pay for the assignment cost in the uh, 15 plus 5%? Um, <clears throat> deposit that was given, or would I use that 250 and leverage that and find new construction and leverage it up to 1.25? That's that's up to you. But the more the more cash the assignment seller is asking up front, the slower it's going to take for them to sell it. Okay, that's why if you notice the assignments that I represent, we always ask for low cash up front. Uh, just enough to cover a cost to make sure that if that person is buying the assignment not closing, we can take that cash and use it to close on the unit, but not enough to reject uh, the potential buyer. You get what I'm saying? I think you do. All right. Um, I don't know if I showed you this 1.2 at Nobu, 799 square feet, 800 square feet, so that's 1,500 a foot. Very nice unit, corner unit. And these are, the, you know, Nobu, by the time Nobu is, is clear, Finish 1500 foot is going to be the average there. I mean, here's a uh, 1.35 million, uh, 2 plus 2, 862 square feet. You can see some of these units will repeat because in Nobu, 862 square feet appears several times. It's not necessarily the same unit or the same floor plan, it could be two different units uh, amounting to 862 square feet. So be careful when you look at them, okay? Uh, and, and, and if you want, just, just send me a message and I'll give you the information. I have some people that say, you know, send me everything you got, <laughs> send me all the assignments you got. Well, I'm not going to do this because a serious buyer is coming and tells me, you know, I have so much money, I have 200000 to spend, I want to spend up to 800000 I have the 600 available mortgage, they've done the homework. Somebody comes to me and says, send me everything you got, there's one or two options. One is they're not realistic, they haven't done the homework, or they're just starting out, they don't know what the hell is going on, and second, they're just trying to compare prices, right? Maybe they do have a unit for sale or they're looking to buy with another agent, which is totally fine, but don't make me work and do your research for you unless you become a client because that's what we do real estate agents. You know, we exchange our time and expertise and skills uh, to help you find a better deal that fits your needs, your psychological needs, your uh, mo monetary availability, so it means, you know, the two people can spend a million dollars, but one buy a house, one may buy a condo, one want to buy a farm, one may want to have a loft in the sky. That's the psychological needs. Everyone's different how they deem their money spent the best. I'm not here to judge and say, you know, condo is better than the farm, or you should buy the house, not the farm. No, I'm here to facilitate your transaction, okay? So that that's our job. Uh, Nobu, 1.19, 1391 square feet, 862, it's a... Uh, could be the same unit or not, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm going to come here. That's Fashion House. We have a site dedicated Fashion House. And anything you want to see at King West, you can see right here, right direct. It's it's really nice, actually. I'm happy how this site's working. You can just pop here, and I'll show you what's available. Okay, this is my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash GLC Kaplan. Um, whether you're buying assignment, new construction, or just looking, I want you to pay attention to the videos here. They're very important because there's so much information put here. That, you know, for me to uh, type in a video that takes 20 minutes to talk or 30 minutes to talk, it just takes forever. But I can do the video and just post it. So I'm, I'm doing a lot, many more videos than written text. It's just a lot faster. Uh, Toronto's three best investor projects. A very, very important video. I'm going to turn this down. But this project talks about these three. The Well by Troy Dale, Galleria Mall, and Crosstown Condos by Aspen Ridge. These are maybe the most important uh communities happening now in Toronto because the sheer size of these communities and the fact that they're all located in serious areas. Uh, the well, you know, next to the Shopify, 
and of course next to King West. Look at this. Okay, this is this. We've never seen anything like this in Toronto. Um, Aspen Ridge got the 401 and DVP and Galleria Mall, of course, at uh, Dupont and Dufferin. There, these are you know they're not comparable directly besides the master plan communities, but they're very important because they offer something for everyone. So if you're looking at the you know 1300 to 1800 the foot, go to Troydale and you want to be like right in the thick of things and really have like all the best the city can offer, there you go. Um, if you want kind of the cool style and the architecture, then you go with a free project. You want the price, you go with the Aspen Ridge. Okay, very, very important to understand. And I have prices for the well. Uh, there's several buildings there. It's an amazing project. You know, it's going to be building and selling for many years to come. So understand, here's Galleria. Moving on. When you go to yossikaplan.com, okay, one of my sites, we have a category here called assignments. So when, let's, never mind. Um, and it's slow today, it's okay, but category assignments, once you go assignment category, and you can see some videos and some posts, 83% of Toronto Condos assignments do not sell, and that is true. That is because they're not marketed properly, not, not advertised properly, or asking more money then it's worth or asking for too high deposit, which is probably the most common uh, problem with assignments these days. Um, there's some other things here, but basically there's a lot of information I post about assignments everywhere. Another cool way to look at assignments for sale, when you go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, my main site, and then scroll down all the way to the bottom, and here there's a little link called assignments. Once you click that link, okay, you're going to be transported to my system, yossi.searchrealty.co, and it's going to bring you to all the assignments in this system. These are not all, there's way, way more assignments, but some of them made their way into the system, which is great. There's not really one, one place to see all assignments. That's the thing. That's why real estate agents become so important these days, especially with the assignments. It's convoluted, and people try to like do all kinds of funky stuff with it. But uh, we're pretty straight up here, so that's what we do. And you can look here and see what assignments are available in the system. It's going to give you a good idea of uh, what's posted nonetheless. There's a lot. You see, when I click here, you see at the top left here, these are the townhouses in Florence, okay? Or the Mimico uh, and so on. So you can also see this here, okay? So these are the equivalents. Or when I click here, you can see that green becomes darker to let you know where you are. Very, very nice. 1630 Queen East just uh, completed, therefore it's in assignment mode. Okay, uh, here's the Kingly one. So some of these will find themselves out. Uh, they could be on MLS, they could be entered the system manually, they could be pocket listing. They just aggregate all this information, puts it in one place. Uh, you can't do it with all of them, but there's some of them. There, I don't know how many here that is say uh, 48 plus. So at least 48 units are tagged with assignment in this system that's not bad there are hundreds and hundreds more some of my sites i keep a lot of spreadsheets with assignments again if you're gonna ask me like samuel yeah assignments you're not for real i've been doing this for years um you know you're poking around your competition you whatever i'm gonna call you back and say hey what you're looking for and then either i'm gonna hear from you back and say that's what i'm looking for you know, you're gonna tell me a story it's real or i'm never gonna hear back from you and then i know i shouldn't have sent it anyways and, that's one or two. That's part of being a real estate agent. Uh, YossiKaplan.com. What do we have here? Oh, that's a, that's a noble registration page. Urban Realty, the well. I spoke about this. Not assignment. It will become assignment. If you buy the well, you will be able to reassign it later. I think you'll do really well with these. This is the Crosstown. And a lot of great information here. I really highly, highly recommend you view some of this stuff. Okay, 159 Wellesley East. This will be ready next year, 2020. And this building is coming up. Um, and I think it's going to be a huge success. This building, we have an assignment here at $1,000 a foot, <coughs> including the, the parking and locker. Now, this is Aspen Ridge uh, also building the DVP 401 uh, project. So, the Crosstown. So, you know, when you look at this project here, it's unique. It's a corner uh, building. It's kind of triangular-ish -ish shape, and it's a, it's a nice, lovely color. And uh, this building, you can still get, it says 650 here, but now it's a $1,000 foot. We have the B631 unit available as an assignment uh, for a $1,000 foot, including parking and locker, which is really nice, considering that the developer will send you the same unit for somewhere between sixty to eighty thousand more than what the 
seller of this assignment is asking, okay? All these assignments, they're not my properties, I'm representing sellers, okay? Or sometimes buyers. So we have other units in this building too, which are around a thousand dollar foot. I have another one just received on a 25th floor and that's over a thousand dollar foot with no parking locker. This one here, the 631, it's a mid, uh, one of the teen floors. Teen means between 11 and uh, 19, of course. Uh, maybe 10 and 19, I'm not sure. Um, and this unit is a thousand with the parking locker. If the parking locker is estimated about 70 or 80 thousand dollars, you're looking at less than 900 dollar foot for the unit itself. Of course, if you buy the unit because it was purchased with the parking locker, you must purchase the parking locker too. You cannot separate them. Why would you do that anyways? If you don't like that, you're going to go buy a smaller unit without parking locker, but the dollar per foot will be higher. Okay? The larger the unit, the more stuff in it, the dollar per foot tends to decrease, go down. That's why I tell people, you know, watch out with these upgrades because when you do the upgrades, you're never going to get the money back, especially not when you assign it. Maybe in the long run, but technically not really because everything gets averaged to the dollar per foot. Okay? That's how it is now. Uh, this is UrbanRealtyToronto.com. These are the Platinum VIP. I'm getting um, the first assignment. It's going to be this penthouse here at the condos. And this is probably the best penthouse in the complex. This is uh, West Condos. And it's just gorgeous. It's one of my most favorite buildings. And this is it. And you can see here the four penthouses. Okay. Uh, this is King West. There's a bunch of... Uh, plans here available for these units. These are some of the nicest, nicest units and building available. Uh, they're going to do the bottom building here uh, on Niagara Street. Uh, probably going to start uh, selling that in the fall. So fall is coming in about a month time. Oh no. <laughs> Not even, <coughs> I think, three weeks to fall now. Uh, but it's going to be fantastic. And once they sell this, I think they're going to start building. So we got some time here. Okay. But this is a fantastic unit. We have one assignment available so far. I've done several sales in this building. It's a fantastic building. I really like it. Okay. Um, I've shown you this one, so we'll skip it. That's the West. Uh, 1181 Queen West. Some units available. Uh, not assignment yet, mostly from the developer. Assignments will come. This is the old coffee time on Queen West. This building is already like priced much higher than next door, which is Bohemian Embassy. So you see sometimes the allure of buying resale is good because resale is becoming cheaper now. In the old days, uh, when I was starting, resale was more expensive. Why? Because, let me do something for you here. Oh. Okay, in connected, 1181 Queen West, Toronto. So in, in the old days, that, that's what the building is. In, in the old days, what I want to tell you is that it was easier. Uh, you walk to the resale, you see what you're getting. Therefore, what, what you're getting is, you know what you're getting. That was more, higher priced. And the pre-construction was lesser priced because you don't know what you're getting. And then the assignment will be somewhere in the middle because it's inching towards completion. But if you can see it, it'll be at a discount. But once you can see it, the price goes up. And that's actually, that is still true. So yesterday I met with some uh, buyers that are looking to buy an assignment. Um, they were looking at, uh, which one they're looking at? They're looking at, uh, at, um, at university, at 4, 488 University assignment I have for sale. And I'll show you that in a second. And I said, you know, this is the price. Once I get the keys, I'm probably going to raise my price because you'll see how beautiful it is. And everyone will want to see it and we're probably going to raise the price because there's more ta tangibility to it. You can see it. Uh, I'll show you in a second. I just want to talk about 1181. So this is Queen West. You know, here's Bohemian Embassy, this green building here and the flat one here. 1171 is the tower and 1169 Queen West is this one. And, you know, these buildings where they came, people were like, ah, you know, as far as this, it was a car wash there. It was like Queen West was like... Terrible. The Drake Hotel right here, the corner. If you remember, the Drake was a mess. People used to shoot heroin at, at the bottom of the Drake. This goes back 15 years ago, but it, it, it was real. But things have changed, and this it was very, very hard for people to understand how the city changes because they couldn't fathom it until they saw it. By the time they saw it, the price went up. They're like, oh, what happened? Like, how come it? 
people can't see the future, it's very difficult for them to think forward and to plan. You, me, everyone. Okay, if you can plan a little bit into the future, you're already a step ahead of everyone else. If you can plan 20 minutes in the future, you're ahead of 99% of the population. If you can plan ahead uh, one year or five years or 10 years or 20 or your lifespan, you're ahead of almost everyone. Okay, the people that can plan ahead big times are millionaires, billionaires, political leaders, you know, they, they see it. The leaders, you know, industrial leaders, they can plan years ahead. But the people who live day to day, they also live, you know, day to day, pocket to hand, hand to mouth, and so on. So the more you can plan, the more you can extend your vision, the better you are. So you have to see today, and I'm lucky because my dad, you know, engineer, always used to teach me, you know, this is a parking lot, but it's going to be a building. Uh, you see this building, it's already got a, a parking lot underneath. So like, start to see things beyond the veil, beyond the walls and start to see where things are coming to. And that's very, very helpful. So here's 1181 Queen. Everyone says, oh, it's so expensive now, but that's exactly what they say at Bohemian Embassy when we used to buy here at 350 a foot. And now it goes for a thousand a foot, so three times as much, you know, in a few years. And real estate, you know, a few years is not much time. That's, sorry, that's the Gladstone, by the way, directs to the other side. Okay, so now uh, this is, was coffee time, a little plaza, but before you know it, it's gonna be a fancy condo. Thousand buck a foot, twelve hundred a foot, fifteen hundred a foot, just how it works. Okay, 488 University. This is a lovely building. Getting the keys on October 7th, and here we have one unit available. This is going to be phenomenal. And I have one unit available for you right now, which is the Collins model, 544 square feet. Uh, the asking Collins, there it is. There is the Collins. Uh, the asking is a lovely one bedroom. I think we're going to rent this to, this will be rental to doctors, lawyers, etc. that come to University Avenue to, to practice. You know, surgeons come in on and so forth. These people are getting between half a million and a million dollars a year. The company, the company is actually paying for their lodging. That means that for six months lease, you can easily get four or five thousand dollars a month here i think it's very reasonable considering if you need to go to a hotel in here like shangri-la looking at you know, 500 bucks a night 400 bucks a night 400 bucks a night times 30 what is that Twelve thousand a month so i'll give you half price six thousand a month 200 bucks a night <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like it makes sense so wrap your head around this and if you do you're probably making money if you're having problems with this concept you got to work on it more to see where it goes. So here's 488 University across the street right here. Uh, you're going to find 481 University and those prices are already in the 1600s a foot. Our price here is 1200 a foot, you know, so 30, 40 percent less. Good deal? I think so. And whoever's going to get it is going to go really well. You can consider that uh, at uh, BIG King West, uh, just down here, you know, they're asking for 1600 a foot, 1800 a foot, and basically 500 in uh, 44 square foot unit at uh, King West and a new building is now 800,000, 150,000, 155,000 more than we're asking. So that's, that's a discrepancy, that's a disparity here. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, Niagara, a lot of people have been calling me the Niagara. Niagara is sold out for the phase one and two. We are collecting uh, information for phase three. If you want to be included, just send me your information. When it comes, I'll send it to you. I don't know if uh, phase three will come at 239.9, probably a little more, 259, 269. But if it's uh, Airbnb approved at 10% deposit, you know, very, very attractive. So we'll see what it comes out at. Um, probably another month or two. Okay. So that's it for today. We have lots of assignments for you. We have assignments at Nobu. We have assignments at uh, Young and Rich. We have assignments uh, more at Nobu. We have assignments at Young and Richmond. 330 Richmond, <coughs> Art Shop, 159 Wellesley, 488 University, West Condos, on Art Shop, on and on and on. Uh, there's many more. You know, just in uh, in respect to the, the hardworking developers, you know, you gotta call me and ask me and give me a bit of information about you so I know what you're looking for. Um, I said that again. I said it, but I'll say it again. You just send me, send me a list. It's just not gonna happen. You're not for real, okay? I'm busy. <laughs>
That's it.